Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have an unboxing once again of BTS. And I feel like at this point with the unboxing videos, one, I like to do them. I like to document it and I think they're fun to watch. But two, I think it's kind of like no going back at this point with the albums I buy because I've documented all the others. And School Love Affair was one that I thought I wasn't going to get for quite a while. And it was the last like School Love Affair and two school to school i did this last time too too cool for school are the ones that i don't have currently i have at least one version of the other albums that are out there so i ended up getting this on amazon because i had a 20 dollar gift card from a like a game i had one at work uh during the holidays and this came up on my recommended like just on my homepage, opening up the app and it was on sale for like 20 percent off or like yeah, I think 20% because it was like $4 less instead of 23 it was like $19.89 or something, like the Taylor album. But anyway, I am super excited to do this one because it feels like it's a really legit packaging album. So this is really nice. It's their old school logo. School Love Affair, I love Boy In Love With. That was one of the first, like, as I started backtracking in their discography, that was one of the first songs I really started enjoying listening to and yeah i'm just liking a lot of the older songs lately like 21st century girl boys with fun fun uh it's bung tan bung tan rise of bung tan i think yeah i'm pretty sure it's rise of i think it's rise of bung tan and those songs are just super catchy and i love the energy and the concert performances that are out there so Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This is a magnetic kind of opening. I really like, sorry, I really like the, it's just like a really well-made mini album. It's not like super flimsy or something. So now this opens like that. We've got the, is it glued on? Yeah, we got the photo book and then we've got the album here. I love that I have so many different CDs to choose from now, so this is nice. So this is the Boy in Love music video, I believe, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's the Boy, yeah, it's the Boy in Love music video. They also themed it, I guess, for the photo book. Jim looks so good. Then got J-Ho. And we got V. I feel like at this point, when was this album out? You can tell they're starting to like transition a bit in their in terms of their style. Let me see. 2014. Yeah. I think this was after or right before Dark and Wild. Dark and Wild was yeah, I think this was after Dark and Wild, because Dark and Wild was their first. Oh, did I skip pages? No. I actually like the style of this with with the it's something with the color scheme it's very like matte or almost like there's a filter on instagram this is reminding me of but anyway you can start to see this is more of a trend transition from just the pure like hip-hop style i guess and this is more of a i want to say a mix it's amazing how smooth i think the transition was from just the original style in the first like their debut to where they are now it's really interesting just all the different concepts which is you don't see i think a lot with a lot of um male at least in like our industry in america a lot of the guys i feel like they aren't as expected to change as much as like the women are in terms of concept styles for each album theme that comes out basically but with the K-pop groups, it's really prevalent. I really like it. I got Yoongi. But it's still kind of like the edgy style, I guess. Like it's a mix of the edgy style. And I'm actually looking forward to the photo card because it's definitely a different photo card and I'm coming up on it now. Oh my gosh, I got Jin! <gasps> Look at that! That is so, it's so different. So this photo card style, hold on, is it? Okay, Okay, this is interesting. So the photo card style of this is like a ticket, I want to say. Like there's this long strip here and then there's, there's their name. It's 
their birthday. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's something with, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, so the back, this is super like shiny. And then it's like a ticket stub basically. This is super interesting. Jin looks so good in this era and he looks good in every era, but I feel like because the others were still really young, I feel like he stands out a little more than usual, if that makes any sense. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So just a close up again. To see here. It's like they're in college almost. Like they're older, or like they're like the seniors. I think at this point they were almost all college age, except of course, I think the Magni line was a little bit younger. So they were like the seniors. Kind of style, you can see my phone. Awesome. Okay. Next <laughs> are these cute little stickers. These were like the original, I guess, characters that BTS kind of made to correlate with themselves. I don't know. Let's open it. Let me close this really quick. I don't know what the back is. I think it's just like their design now. So we have the stickers here. I don't, with the stickers of Love Yourself answer, I, I'm i also the same way. I don't think I'm ever going to use them, but I'll just keep them there to kind of store, I guess, with the album. So let's go ahead and look through the rest. So this is all of them in the schoolroom of like an abandoned school, I think. Oh, and it's a melted, or not a melted, um... A dried rose. Oh, that's a cool transition. That's cool. I like that. They're so young. Sweet. And then we got the track list. There's just yeah that the like filtering or coloring of this album. It reminds me of something. So now we have the whole track list with the lyrics for each for each song. I don't recognize this one. Then we've got their rap line is so impressive with how many songs that they have out there from the beginning. Like, just the, I think that just really helped them when they were getting started, just having such a presence in the music. I just made, I think that made a good difference. I like Jump. Jump's really catchy. Cypher Part 2. Is that, that's the one where... I think Yoongi goes like super hardcore during the, where's the part four? Well, they all go super, like his, like his thing during the, the ciphers, I think is always just coming out with like a serious, like super wordy verse that he says like a million words per minute. I don't, I don't remember now. I blank out a lot. I feel like when I'm filming stuff. Anyway, let's move on. Is there still, is there another part of the photo book? Oh, interesting. So now in the middle is where the track list is. Usually with the other albums, it's at the end, but here it's at the beginning. I like their old logo too. That's a really, I like, I don't mind the new one either, but like to start out with, I think it's, it's a nice looking logo. The newer one is definitely more minimal style. I don't like, I don't like really merch in general when it comes to like sweaters or um, shirts or like posters and stuff. But I think with the newer logo, it's a lot more marketable because it's more minimal. And these are postcards. That's cool. I like that it's in black and white. I wonder if anyone's actually ever used this. I guess you can rip it out. Oh, you can. I see the little 
I see the little, what is it called? The, the lines to like rip off a sheet kind of thing. Yeah, Jin was like, and it's because he, he was older, so he was more like going into his looks. Jin was like killing it. V's always had a, like a model style with, <laughs> with his photos. I really like the group photos. I love the, the fact that you have that, like it's both together in this one. This is the only time they did like a really big looking photo card though. This kind of, I think, yeah, it should fit in my album. I have this album where I put in my photo cards. It should fit fine. The one that doesn't fit in there that I have in my planner sticker binder actually is the one that I got of um, the BTS Love Yourself, Speak Yourself London. Is it Speak Yourself or just Love Yourself, Speak Yourself London DVD. The photo like like long postcard basically doesn't fit in my album where I keep everything else. So I have that in my planner sticker binder like at the back. Super random. This is a really legit photo book. And that's the thing when you're starting out too and you're like just trying to give... I think from the beginning of 2014 was... Like... I mean, they just keep growing every year, but with the demand getting high and that was like their first full year like as a, like as a group in, in action basically, the amount of content they were giving was super high. So I'm not surprised that this photo book has so much. <laughs> he looks so little. This is an interesting concept. I feel like they're in like a, yeah, I was gonna say they're in like a tattoo parlor or something, but they're in a barber shop. Very edgy, but not overly edgy. I remember how much I loved opening Dark and Wild because it was just so, it was just so different from what they um, are as a group now. So it was fun to see. This is nice. This is um, still kind of like that edge, but not as very tumblr like and this was in 2014 i think tumblr i think that was like the start of their was it the start of their down like slope like they weren't as high on in terms of social networks i think i was only in it for like a year maybe tops and then i would just go in like every like six months or something after that you know what i really admire with the idols and it's because i mean that's a whole different topic is talking about like how petite and skinny a lot of idols are, but I really admire their col collarbone structure, I guess. And it's probably because a lot of them are so, so, so skinny. I really like this photo book. This is a nice middle ground. And then we have the thank yous. Very nice, very nice. Cool. And then it's like glued to the inside of it. So that was the photo book and that was the album School Love Affair. I can't believe I won that game. It was that's a whole different like funny story, but I ended up winning like third place or something. So I got the gift card and I don't use Amazon a lot. I use a lot more um just like the pickups from Walmart or Target or something. There wasn't a lot that I needed from Amazon basically, and I had had it for a while, but when this showed up, I thought might as well it's got like 500 five-star reviews, so I knew it was reliable. And I ended up picking up, I don't, going in, I don't think of a photo card that I want because I don't really care like which member it is. I'm not, stay tuned though. I think like, I'm like ahead of schedule here. This video is probably going to come out like three weeks after I film it, but stay tuned because I'm going to start filming some photo card collecting videos from Bai and a couple from eBay, so it should be fun. But anyway, I'm not like collecting a certain member or like preferring the photo, the album to have a certain member so I don't have to worry about buying or trading or something like that. So, but I was thinking as I was looking at the beginning, I was like, Jin looks really good. Like it wouldn't hurt to get Jin because he was, um, I think 21 around this time or 20 and he was like the original visual. He still is the visual, but I think now... I could be wrong though, maybe V was always the 
Maybe Tay was always the visual as well. Anyway, in my head, I thought of Jin for like a millisecond and then ended up getting him, which was kind of fun. So that's that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a like if you did and to subscribe to my channel because a lot more photo card related content is coming your way. I don't know when I'm going to pick up another album that I have not opened yet. The only one I have left would be, like I said, Too Cool for School. I haven't gotten the school of for a special edition. Probably won't for a while because the $50 I could spend on that, I'm probably going to spend on getting other versions for albums. I'm missing on versions of them, but I've picked up at least one of each type at this point, which is super exciting. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel too, and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye everyone!